SuicideFantasyFootball.com talking about our quarterbacks that you should be looking at week three if you need somebody to throw in for a week if you had an injury maybe you had Mike Vick or long term if you want to put someone on your bench that might have a chance coming later on down the road to put up big numbers or maybe you got somebody like Matt Castle and you want to uh, you got to get rid of Matt Castle like I said. get rid of everybody on the Chiefs offense like we said early, the Chiefs offense taking a big step back. The one I don't thing think we agreed on, and we want to be right. I don't think either of us thought it was going to be this big of a step back, but we did both say six, seven wins was going to be lucky. So, yeah. all right, Jim, give me your quarterback first, long term and short term. Short term, I'm going with John Kitna. I think Tony Romo is going to be out for a week or two. Uh, you know, it's different when you're playing now than when you let it sit for four or five days and try to come back. It's really tough, and even if he gets hit. He's going to be out the next Yeah, game. but you can't play a guy if Romo's starting. If I, Romo's I, I'd starting, pick him up. Still, not, but if you're saying I'm not saying short throw term. Him in, yeah, I'd pick him up, Okay, and I might not start him this week. He's in a great offense. He's in a great offense. They pass a lot, and Kitten has already shown that he can he can run the ball. He can run the offense the way that they want it to do. He's got weapon after weapon after weapon. Last year without Romo, yeah, Kitten he was good. a great option. Great option. And Des Bryant wasn't the receiver he is today. So. Yeah, he's a little banged up. My long term, um, I'm going with Andy Dalton. And he's not a big name. He was a pick that you had. He'd be he on an be... orange team with orange hair. Jim. Yeah, That's Carson Palmer ridiculous. did it for a while. He didn't have orange hair. But I watched the game yesterday for a little bit, in and out, red zone, greatest invention ever. I love but I watched the red zone for a little bit. And I was watching him play. And he has quarterback it, whatever you want to call it. Really? Uh, yeah, he does. And listen, I'm not, saying, Denver, I mean, I'm not saying you cut. So if you got a really good quarterback, you don't cut him. If you're in a, if you're in a league listen, where you have – you're saying if you have an Aaron Rodgers, why not have an Andy Dalton on your bench? Yeah, yeah. He's not going to play unless you got that perfect bye week matchup. I hear you. Yeah, if you got Matt Castle, who's your guy, or you got Alex Smith or one of those guys that are you know starting off kind of bummy, you know, I, I would pick him up. Short-term, Jim, I'm going Mike Kafka. I know you probably weren't that impressed with him. Uh, I was real impressed with him. He started off almost perfect when they were just coming at him. Not almost perfect. He was perfect until Until Macklin Macklin. dropped the ball. He was perfect. Well, listen, he was perfect, but he was throwing some passes that were just little dink and dunk. Dude, he he threw a 40-yard bomb. The one to Macklin, the one bomb to Macklin. That's why I'm saying almost perfect. He was very good early when they were coming at him hard, making him throw the ball. And he was reading the blitzes. He was dumping when he had to dump, and he did throw that really long bomb to yeah. Macklin. Yeah. And I think the Giants' defense is beat up. If you need someone week three, Kafka's not a bad option in the short term. If you got to pick him up now, I don't like it. If you can wait until Thursday when you hear a little bit more, because I got Jim a feeling Vick. Mike Vick's Mike Vick's gonna play. Now, it's I don't think it's gonna be Mike Vick's decision, Jim. Mm-hmm. It's concussion. It's the NFL. But they said he they weren't even sure. They're still not even sure that he had a concussion. He was right on the line of whether he did or didn't have a concussion. They're gonna side with caution. Mike Vick's gonna be out week three. If you need a quarterback for one week, don't underestimate. In your league, there might be better people available. Sure. Don't underestimate Mike Kafka. Long term. Yeah. Just in case he slipped through week one, Cam Newton is a beast, Jim. Even if you're just picking him up to defend another guy from picking him up, there's not many people I'd rather have on my bench. Smart people do that, by the way. Smart people do that, by the way. Long term, there's not many people I'd rather have on my bench than Cam Newton. Yeah, and listen, I'm still not convinced that he's going to be a pro football all pro. What's it going to take, Jim? He threw a bunch of picks, man. He 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 put up numbers. Don't get me wrong. There's there. He put up numbers, and he put up numbers. He could against be a guy. A listen, yeah, and and so did Vinny Testaverde. So if you're telling me that Cam Newton might be Vinny Testaverde, I would say that, that there's a possibility. Fantasy football, you yeah, love fa- having that's Vinny what I'm saying. I, I said pro football. I didn't say fantasy football. Fantasy football. I I agree that he's going to put up some some decent numbers. I'm still not sold. Pro football wise, I, by 2013, I, he's in the Pro three Bowl. Picks. He threw he's three picks. Be, right. He's not going to be. He's not going to be in the Pro Bowl. He's going to be in the Pro Bowl There's by 2013. Yep. Once Breeze gets a little bit older, come on, you're going to see. Not in the Newton. NFC, dude. He's got Breeze, Rogers, Vic. He's got tons of guys. Cobb's in the NFC. He's got guys that are going to be putting up numbers. Cobb ain't going to be able to hold Newton's job we'll in two we'll years. We'll say the, the Pro Bowl is is a popularity contest, and you need to win to make the Pro Bowl. And Cam Newton ain't going to win. 
puts up if he puts up numbers like he's been putting up, Jim, it's gonna be hard to keep him out. Yeah. We'll see. He's made a lot of people who's Listen, careers... I said he wasn't gonna get four hundred yards this week and he proved me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I said he was gonna be a bum and I'm I'm totally I picked him up, you know, I picked him up in my league to block other people from getting him. But uh, you know. All right, so that's what we're calling for out of the quarterback position. Don't forget, check out SuicideFantasyFootball.com, the one-and-done aspect of a suicide pool with traditional fantasy football. Listen to our shows. You like what we're talking about here? Subscribe to our videos or listen to our shows on Blog Talk, Wednesday night, 730 to 830, Fantasy Football Overload.